I seen that you had a good relationship with Nipsey. Yeah, Nip the Crap. He was in one of your early videos, I believe. Uh, f um, what was the name of that? Uh, G. How'd you guys meet? Um, so Nip, uh, the crazy thing is Nip started with the same person that I started with, Tarzan, Rare Beats. You know what I mean? Dude from Grape Street. Um, he did like a lot of my original production, but it was like different times. You know what I mean? Uh, I was around Tarzan around the time you were starting with Nip, but like I was still on full-blown like ignorant activities. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, but I was trying to fuck around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, like when I decided to put my best foot forward. You know, Tarzan was there giving me beats and direction and shit. And um, he initially introduced us, you know what I'm saying? He brought us together. And um, like, we just had like a lot of, uh, a lot of common people that we all knew that we had dealt with over the years, you know what I'm saying? You'd mentioned earlier about like the gangster card and the neighborhood card not really getting along. How did that- Don't get along at all. Work with Nipsey, it didn't matter? Nah, like, you know, um, at certain points, like, even when I was little, it's always an exception to the rule. Like, like for instance, like, my homies, like, arch enemies, well, when I was growing up, today it ain't really like that, but, like, East Coast, them was like our rivals, like, on the East Side, Broadway versus East Coast, you know what I'm saying? But it was a, like, our main hangout, it was a dude... The nigga whack from seven six East Coast stayed next door, and like I used to sleep in his house and shit. But he was the real deal. He was the real East Coast, you know what I'm saying? So it's always exceptions to the rules, you know what I mean? And um, like I guess me and Nip was a like an exception, you know what I'm saying? He we was like similar people, you know what I mean? From our sides. Right. He talked about hustling and. Getting money and everything, you yeah. know, a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we similar people, you know what I mean? Even before I like met him, met him, I heard his music and I felt like, I'm like, damn, this nigga saying all the shit that I'm saying or what I would say, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it was just a lot of uh, similarities there and we just clicked. You used to have the store in your hood? I actually own the whole building now. So I got the, I'm really just to focus on the boxing gym, Broadway boxing gym. Yeah. Okay, what all, what all do you have? What all stores do you have there? Um, well, it's tenants in, 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 the, um, in the bottom right now. So, uh, you know, when Elisa is up with them, uh, we're gonna do some community-based shit down there. You know what I mean? But right now it's like the, the main focus is the boxing gym. Just getting that, it's like, it been around way before my hood came out, you know what I'm saying? It been there since like the 50s. A lot of like famous boxers then been through there. It's like, it's really a cornerstone in the boxing community, you know what I mean? But the owner died uh, last year, like early last year. And then her son passed a few weeks later. So everything was just in limbo. And I got with David Gross and D Smoke and, and we, we got the building and the business. So, uh, we getting that back in order so that shit could just be rocking in full swing and, um, you know, it's something for the community and something for, you know, people that want to wanna box, want to exercise, want to look good. You know what I mean? We're going to have that whole corner just set up for, for the area because where I'm from is a desert, bro, on everything. You ever heard of food deserts and shit? I haven't. So it's a food desert as far as, like, healthy food. Um, it's an information desert, like, nobody knows shit, like, besides, like, hate around that motherfucker, you know what I mean? So, you know, I want to um, have a place where people could, you know, get information on, like, what's really going on and, you know, how to help themselves. And, you know, motherfuckers need to know that they can help themselves and it's not, you're not hopeless and it's shit that you can do, you know what I mean? So, you know, we want to... Um, introduce that and just be able to like just lend support you know what i mean the same way that i had support when i was growing up you know what i mean um 
I want to bring that back and make sure that that shit's straight. So, yeah, we focus on the boxing gym, me, D Smoke, David Gross. We're about to get that back open, full swing. You know what I mean? I'm actually about to go right there right now and work out. Uh, you mentioned uh, the community, open it up for the community. So what t what kind of stuff do you have planned? Um, like just boxing programs, after school programs, uh, you know what I mean? And then for the females, like self-defense shit and then like yoga, Zumba, all that. But then also downstairs just um, like it's so much information that and just so much shit that just education that we lack. You know what I'm saying? So um like people that want to start businesses and, you know, even people that want jobs or whatever, like, you know, we're going to be the center for that too, like to help motherfuckers, like, and just guide in the right way. So um, I don't know exactly what we got. We throwing a few ideas around in the hat, you know what I'm saying? But we will announce it, but it's definitely going to be, uh, you know, just something productive, like we're and some shit that's necessary, like, you know, like, it's probably not going to be no shit where we help you fill out uh, fucking resumes and shit like that. That's dinosaur shit, and typing and all. Like, you know, just actual, like, shit that's, that's necessary for the future, like, on a digital scale. You know what I mean? And, you know, on a business front scale, just, you know, lending support for, for the area. And then healthy eating, because it's, it's nothing in the area. So, you know, good water. You know what I mean? I'm partners in a water company, so alkaline water, spring water, um, you know, vitamins, uh, just healthy food. You know what I mean? When you come down from the gym, protein, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be just, you know, multi-purpose place. That's what's up. For the area. Because I felt like if I had to put like another store right there, it's kind of like, and knowing what's going on in the area, that's like, I mean, I might eventually, but right now, I just feel like that's kind of selfish, like, you know? Like, it's, it's not really benefiting, like, motherfuckers could look at it and get motivation and all that from it, but, like, actually, like, my area need real help, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no real leadership around there, like, in a positive way, like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are supposed to be leadership, like, it's like, it's like in limbo, like, you know, you get hate. You know, you can learn hate from them or other shit. Like, I want to, I want to, um, like, help motherfuckers be productive like myself. You know what I'm saying? And whatever feel. And just be around. If I'm not there, just have motherfuckers around and give people the confidence to be them. Because that be the problem, too. Like, a lot of motherfuckers don't be confident in even stepping out in the world. You know what I mean? Like, and not knowing that, like, man, you might be the coldest motherfucker out there. So, you know. I want to be able to bring that out in, in the youth, you know what I'm saying, and the people coming after me, because I feel like like a lot of people like are that's already dead set in their ways. That's cool. We need to focus on the youth and um, like get them prepared to take over the world. You know what I mean? Man, that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's dope shit, man. Yeah. You know, I'm looking forward to you know seeing more. Come that's on, man. We're gonna do a story shit, on that. Man. We're gonna be through there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm with that. And I'm still gangster as a motherfucker. That ain't <laughs> never gonna change, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah.